Other than the fear of the unknown, have you experienced fear otherwise? Not really, actually. I mean, I hesitate to say that because many people say the man who doesn't fear, feel, fear, feel, fear is a fool. Let's start it again. Yes. Go ahead. You can, have uh, you experienced fear other than the fear of the unknown? Uh, I hesitate to admit it, but I haven't, actually, except on one occasion. And um, I know a lot of people will say that the man who doesn't feel fear is a fool. But I think that uh, you feel excitement and apprehension, and many people mistake that for fear. If you're afraid, I don't think you can control it. You're away and running, you're gone. You can't control your actions. And only on one occasion did I feel that, and it wasn't in combat. It was after a combat. And I walked into a very nice wood. It was like the bush, what we'd call the bush. And the Viet Cong had retreated, and they'd, a lot of their dead were left along this jungle trail, and a lot of the wounded had stopped and died there. And it was a sort of thing like Hansel and Gretel, where they left the, the, the corn on the way, you know, the bodies were spread out like that along the... And the birds were chirping, and it was an eerie feeling. And I was alone, I'd just gone into there alone to just to see the way they'd retreated and to take some film. And I suddenly had an overwhelming fear, and I ran away. But that was going back to your instinct again, isn't it? Uh, yes. Well, I'm not certain because I don't think the Viet Cong were in there still. Okay. I mean, there were troops ahead of me, uh, a long way ahead of me, but they'd cleared that area. Now, I don't think it was fear that there was, that there was uh, the enemy, the Viet Cong were actually there physically and alive and waiting for me. I think it was, it was something unknown or almost supernatural, which I didn't, I didn't like and I was very afraid mm -hmm. and I ran. What about feelings of invincibility? Yes, and that's something one must guard against. Uh, because when you develop this instinct of knowing what to do at the right time, and it seems to work all the time, you come back alive after all. And you've made what appear to be the right decisions. There can be a very dangerous feeling of in invincibility. That is, um, that you think you know it all and you think that you can't. Everybody else may be killed, but you can't. And whenever I felt that, I took stock of myself uh, very severely have and you known was very careful. Have you known other correspondents, cameramen, who have taken advantage of that to their own yes, demise? Yes, and they're dead. Mm. They're dead.